This is the control center of the Thor motor coach. We've got what would be the generator, the start and stop button for the generator. We have the various buttons to check status, such as LP, full tank, battery, two-thirds charge, levels of the fresh water tank, black water tank, and the gray water tank. Next is the slide extend or retract switch. When it's cold, we have tank heaters. We can turn on the heaters for the black tank or the gray tank. If we're pulling water from our tank in the back, we have the water pump switch. Next is the air conditioner heater system. So we have the system select switch. We can either be set to cool for air conditioning, run the fan, off mode, or run heat. We suggest that when you're traveling, have the air conditioning system set in the off mode. If it's cool, you can run fan. If it's cold, turn on the LP gas, switch to heat. If it's hot, switch to cool. On the fan side, you have auto. So the automatic switch allows you to run either high volume of air or low volume of air. Or you can switch to on, especially if you're just running the fan system and you want to run air through the coach, you can switch it to low or high. This is the remote system. This remote works virtually everything that you need for setup. Definitely you can start the generator. You can retract and extend the uh, awning. You can re uh, retract and extend the slide. And you can also control the lighting. This is the electronic leveling system. So you definitely can just turn on the system. You can go to auto level, leveling the coach. And then before you move, you can hit the retract system to retract all of the levels. Now this is just to familiarize yourself with the panel. I have instructions in other videos on how to use the leveling system and how to start and stop the generator and how to use the remote system.